opportunity it is. What a blessing it is. We couldn't afford the sacrifice to buy it every week or every month or every year. Because all of us are poor financially. But Jesus paid it all. Amen. Jesus paid it all this morning. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. At this time I invite our bishop to do the closing remarks and to close us up in prayer. Praise the Lord. Bishop Richards. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just give God a wave offering. Let's have it in the name of the Lord. I wasn't sure if any question was taken. Praise the Lord. Can somebody just uh, remind me the theme? The theme of the lesson. Psalm 51. Psalm 51. Shouting in the atmosphere. What does this mean? What does this mean? Clean heart. Create in me a clean heart. What does this mean? I'm sure, I'm sure your teacher um, told you what this means. Praise the Lord. And somebody, um, yes, somebody just give me a recap. Repent of all known sins. Praise the Lord. Anybody else? It's acknowledgement. You have to acknowledge your sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after acknowledge your sin, what, what next? Repent. Praise the Lord. Repent. All right. And uh, what does repentance mean? Okay, so you stop. Stop. And you turn around, right? How much degree? I hope it's not 360. <laughs> Gotta be 180. Because if it's 360, you're going to go right back where you start. Praise God. So once this is done, um, your heart will be clean. And when your heart is clean, of course, the Lord will definitely come in. Amen. Praise God. He will tabernacle with you. He will sup with you. He will be there for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our conscience will be clear. And so we serve the Lord with our conscience. Right? Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Um, this is why I often encourage the people of God to make sure you serve God and not man. Amen. Make sure you serve God and not ministry. Make sure you serve God and not the office that you hold. Praise God because when no one else is with you, God is always there. And this is why I do believe the scripture declares that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. The Lord himself. He will not trust an angel to come back for his bride. Amen. He's coming himself. Why? Because the angels, they are not all-knowing. They are limited in knowledge. But God knows everything. I do believe if an angel come to escort the church, sin will be escorted into glory. God will never allow that to happen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So he's coming himself. Oh, hallelujah. Is there any worship in the house? Is there any servant in the house? Thank you, Jesus. Make sure, brothers and sisters, you serve God so your heart is clean before God. Because when one from this realm pray and God answer you, it is more than not than, than you know normal. That's not normal. It's more for God to hear from glory and respond. It takes a clean heart. It takes a renewed spirit and mind. Because people need the Lord. We need God. Amen. This is why I often said that if I was serving a God that when I'm in need and I call him and there is no response, I wouldn't want him. Amen. That's why I couldn't serve a statue or image standing in the corner of a building. Amen. 
Amen. I want to serve the real God. The only God I serve is the one that made me. Amen. Amen. If he didn't make me, I'm not serving him. It's no good. I'm not going to make a God and serve it. If I make something, it should serve me. And I'm not a God. Praise God. So we want to serve the true and living God. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Thank God for what teachers this morning. Praise God. Thank God for all those of you who are present in the house. And we just want to magnify the name of the Lord. Praise God. Let us stand as we close this session. Hallelujah. Eternal God and our Father, in the name of Jesus, here we are, Lord, in your presence. We magnify you, Lord, because you are holy, you are God. Long before time, you was God, and during time, you is God, and you will be God. We bow before you, Lord God Almighty, because you declare, a hero Israel, the Lord, is one lord god almighty we are grateful for this privilege that we come to know you the only wise god and the power of the resurrection through your redemptive plan oh god almighty for mankind we are here in your presence god is not because we are worthy but because you held out the scepter as king oh god almighty and bids us to come and for this God, we are grateful to you. I pray in the name of Jesus for the teachers, O oh God Almighty, of this great Sunday school, of this great church. Lord, I pray for the student, O oh God, give them a receptive heart, O oh God, and create within us a new heart and renew a right spirit within us. Bless us now, Holy Father, as we have come to the end of this session. Dismiss us with heaven's choicest blessings, we pray, as we advance your thanks for the remaining portion of today's service. In Jesus' name, and all God people say, Amen. Amen.